afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? I am pretty good. Uh, it is 2.30 Central Time. And i um, in my truck on the Maverick Yard. Uh, today was day five of MIT training and the final day. Very short day. Um, started off at 8 o'clock as usual and uh, we uh, went over uh, the morning meeting staff meeting uh, as usual so we could see the end result of the week's week orientation class um, it's kind of good because we got to see the whole group of orientation from the beginning um, the day they arrived to the day that they move on to business union training um, of course I have you know, seen a lot of that before, but it was really good to see it from the MIT perspective, uh, to see how a class progresses from raw recruits to uh, business unit candidates uh, through their job offers. It's just a really good process, and you can see how, how everything turned out from the people that left because they wanted to, or people who couldn't make it because of medical or other reasons. It's just a really good perspective of it all. <clears throat> uh, after the staff meeting, uh, we had a general discussion about kind of a recap of the whole week uh, and uh, what happened and things like that you know where the uh, class started where it ended and so forth and so on we ended by watching a video by uh, Simon Sinek which a video we've seen before about the character of leaders mentors and uh, you know champions kind of a really really good you know uh, recap to the whole thing I have to say this I was very very impressed um, by the whole program, and I'll talk about that in another video later uh, when I recap MIT once I have a chance for it all to, to sink into the brain pan, so to speak. Um, after that, um, I guess about 9 o'clock, uh, 9.30 actually, um, we were turned over to operations and uh, we went over to the corporate building and met the, uh, the uh, driver trainer fleet managers uh, and uh, their supervisor. Um, I'd already met all of them at one time or another, and uh, seeing them this morning really impressed me. They were all great people. They all seemed to be really great. Um, I got a new fleet manager. Um, my new fleet manager is Morgan, and um, you know uh, I don't know how long he's been with the company. I didn't get a chance to spend that much time talking to him, but I'll call him later and kind of chew the chew the fat and, and things like that and see where see how he is. He seems like a pretty good, laid back, you know, southern boy like me. Um, so uh, once that once we met them, we went over some guidelines for trainers uh, from their perspective. It's kind of stuff we'd already covered, but they were kind of giving them giving us their perspective. We also ordered our driver trainer, our driver instructor uh, shirts, company shirts. The company pays uh, for five shirts and one jacket up front, and then every two years after that, we get five new shirts at company expense. We can order shirts at uh, you know on our own at any time. We just got to let them know. Um, though they don't give us our shirts till our 90 days have passed. I guess they're kind of on probation or to see if we even like it before they buy them and give them to us. I don't see, I don't see how it won't last that long unless something just really bad happens, but I, I'm pretty confident. Um, once we did that, we, you know, they still covered some more stuff. We got our uh, hotel CLC information. It's, it's the program that we use to put up students on the weekends that we're home or if we're hung out and we don't you know they don't want to stay or we don't want them to stay in the truck we need our personal space privacy time kind of thing um, and uh, learned how, how that works and what we need to do to get that set up uh, apparently they were pretty prepared for us because we got our we got our uh, cards uh, for that when you know our imprinted cards with our names on it we had them already ready so um, it was a you know real good real good time then after that they took us to lunch and uh, we had they took us to Golden Corral um, they may have taken us there because there were so many of us so I was kind of hoping for something a little bit better Golden Corral is good but you have a tendency to overeat there I'm just stuffed beyond belief and uh, once we got back we got individually with our fleet managers to find out you know what's going on and where we stand um, I was issued a, a trailer I didn't have one and, and then uh, I was cut loose uh, so wait to see if I, I get a load or not I, I don't know yet um, and uh, so I took the opportunity to go pick up, get my trailer hook up to it uh, go over it with a fine tooth comb make sure everything was the way it's supposed to be I went over my truck to see all the changes 
and the fixes that the maintenance department did while I was here because it was in and out of shop a couple of times. Uh, and um, then I went over to the equipment shed and exchanged a lot of my older equipment for newer equipment because just some of the stuff I had was garbage. It's not, not that it, I shouldn't say garbage, but it was, it was getting to the wore out phase, especially my edge protectors. So that's pretty much uh, all there was to it. It was a really short day. Once they did that, I came over here to the shop. I'm parked in, you know, in front of the shop of my trailer, and I'm waiting for my load, um, or to see what they're going to do with me. Um, you know, this is my hometown weekend, so I'm not sure what they're going to do. I'm only, you know, three, three hundred fifty miles from the house, and um, so let me give me a load give me, to get me through the house, or I may just go home for the weekend. I don't know. I won't. It's not important to this. So that's the end of MIT. I'm very happy. So I'm. I'm officially kind of a graduated driver instructor now and I look forward to my first student which will probably be next Friday uh, Thursday or Friday we'll just have to see how things go so uh, thanks for uh, watching these videos on MIT I hope they were informative if you plan on going to MIT or if you're coming to Maverick or you are a Maverick driver what the driver instructors go through from a certain point of view so until we talk again keep the shiny side up 73's I'll chat at you later